Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is The World Away and happy Monday. New week today, so I thought we're gonna start off by doing the next five stages of the DLC Nini Collectibles release. I build the Valentino Rossi M1 motorcycle. So if you remember last time that we did this, we started working on the engine. A massive engine this is, look, look at that. Uh, so today we are going to be adding loads more details to this. This is obviously the heart of this uh, motorcycle. So uh, we do want to make that as detailed as we can possibly get it. Now, if you want to get this whole collection for yourself and start from pack one, I have put the link down in the video description. You can get this from that box. Also, if you haven't seen my previous videos, they're all in a playlist and I have put a link for them up there. there. So without further ado, let's get cracking. All starts with stage 27. Once again, I'm going to just quickly show you through the magazine here. And you get one magazine per stage. This is all the parts that we got. We're going to do the gear lever and the sump parts. And again, the instructions are showing us exactly what we're doing to put these parts together. So that is the magazine for stage 27. Let's do this. You know what? I still can't figure out how you know what um, issue each box is. Because like, it's not on that side. And this is stage 27. On this one, people said the bar, the end of the barcode, but that one ends in 28. It's not this number here on the QR code either, so uh, no idea. <laughs> anyway, let's get this open. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the lever and the actuator, which are these two sections here, and an R screw. The R screw has actually got a hex top on it. It's going to go through the top on this section, and it's going to be going into this section here just into the little hole that we can see there so now we know how that goes together i've just undone it again because now we're going to be putting this into place onto the engine just next to the blue section we put in at the end of the last stage there so this is going to go in next to it just like that and the other side of this is going to be going onto the gap that we've got in that section just there like that hopefully you might be able to see that on just one of the cameras top camera probably so put this in so the way this works then as you can see it's actually operating that switch here now there's no electrics from that switch so i think i'm wondering is it just making the noise for you is that is that what this is for don't know but uh <laughs> there you go put that to one side and now we need another little housing for another switch to go in We've got the switch in here. Again, no wire, so I'm wondering if this is just to make the noise of a gear being uh, sort of like activated. Now this has got little metal arms coming out the side. So when we slot this in, the metal arms are gonna go out of each side. So that looks just like that. Now we haven't had to put this cover in in this stage, so we're gonna be saving that for a later stage, but that's all there is to do in this stage. Boy, I say stage a lot, don't I? <laughs> So in st uh, part, <laughs> part 28, this is the magazine again, just flicking through that there. And we're gonna be doing the sump and support. So these parts just look like that there. And as you can see, we're gonna be putting all of these parts together. Uh, it looks like we are gonna be taking this piece that we had from the last stage uh, that I just mentioned earlier. So let's do this. There you go. So you can see that I need everything that I've got in this uh, little lineup here. And the first thing I'm going to do is the part that we made last time with the switch, we're going to be putting that inside the sump just there. So there is two locating holes in there. So when I put this in, just like this, get this over the locating holes. As you can see, the switch is over the top, just like that. We're going to hold that in with a J screw. And that's just going in there. And as you can see, we've got that familiar click from the switch there. We're going to be putting this onto this side of the engine here now as you can see this switch once this is on this is going to be going on this way here where it clicks that way it should click the other way when i've got this in place because it's going to activate that switch there so let's line this up get that in there i'm going to hold it in my hand and we'll check that so clicks that way clicks that way hear that perfect okay so we need to mount this sump into place and these are held in once again with these J screws, but through the side just here. So we'll get one in this side. 
and just one in the other side here as well. The other side is just this little triangle area here. So that's now held that sump into place. Once again, I'll just show you that working one way and the other. Perfect. Now here we've got some sight glasses here. I'm going to take them out. And these are going to be going into these sections just here. And they're saying try not to glue it if you can get away with it. So I'm just going to put one in and see how it fits. It actually just pushes in there. And that's how those clear pieces go in. So one that side. We've got one to put in the other side here. These clear pieces come in this stage. So again, just push them in. And then make sure that they're clipped in all around. And they should hold themselves, as you can see there. But that's all there is to do in that stage. Here's the magazine. Another quick flick through. And as you can see, we're going to be doing the inspection and access covers that look just like this. And we're putting these parts together just like that right there. Now those pictures made this look really big, but they're not. These are tiny parts, very tiny. So I'm just going to open everything we've got in this pack up. I'm going to be adding some details just to this little piece here. So we've got this little blue, uh, what is this? Uh, filler plug. It's a filler plug. Uh, that's just going to push into the hole there. So that looks like that. In the top, once again, we've got another one of these, which I've just dropped, <laughs> glass pieces, which is going to go into the top piece there and again. Just make sure that goes all the way down so it should hold itself in like that as you can see perfect bring over the engine section again and you can probably see straight away where this is going to go this is going to go into this area just here it's going to match perfectly and we have got lugs to put this in with so it's just going to go in like this and then we're going to push that down they're saying it shouldn't need glue mine is actually a little bit more Stiff, as you can see, it is in there though. And that's holding itself in there. No problems. No screws either for that. Now, on this side of the engine, I'm interested in this little slot just here. And in that, we're going to be putting this detail. That's going to go in the top, matching the pattern here. This is the timing chain cover. And it is just a pushing. Getting that to fit nice and flush in there like that. On the two bits just underneath that timing chain cover, I've got some fake bolts, which are just pushing little details, which are going in these two holes. And again, once you've got one in, it'll pretty much uh, show you how it goes, but they will hold themselves in, no problems. You're not gonna need glue for that. Again, look, that's not gonna fall out. So now that looks like that. Now I've got one of these left over. I don't know if that was a spare or not. Let me just see if I was meant to get two. I think, uh, just looking. No, we're only meant to get one, but I got a spare one. So uh, that's handy. <laughs> Put that to one side, because that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 30, again, here's the magazine. Flick through it again. Uh, we're going to be doing the clutch housing. We've got that here. Quite big parts these ones are. Uh, we've got some pipe work to put in as well. So this is going to look just like that when that's finished there. So the first thing we're going to need is this hydraulic cylinder with a nipple on the end here. And as you can see, we have got some pipe work, which is going to go into the end of that. So I'm going to push that in and just see how well it holds. Normally I do glue these into place, but I've noticed on this build, they are quite tight in there. So they will hold themselves no problems at all. Bring over the housing here now and I have got another little plug detail just to go in here this is just a push in so just get that lined up you heard that click in then there you go uh, the little hydraulic cylinder now is just going to go above it here we've got two lugs going into these two holes so just line them up and again that's a push in like that Bring the engine over, and as you can see, we've got the vacant space for that just here. And this is just going to be pushing in to this point like this. So get it lined up and pushed in so it's flush around there, looking like that. Now we need type B screw, which is in this pack here. And that's going to hold that into place. It's held in with just one screw here. 
just through the center and get that all the way in. Now we're not attaching the other end to this yet in this stage, but that is all there is to do in this stage. You know what, when I did the uh, sump earlier on, I thought I'd forgot a piece, but it is Monday, so I'm allowed to forget a piece, because I always do. Uh, that, this is the sump switch here, which is just going to go into here. Now, it has got um, two little locating lugs on there, just so you know, and it's just a case of pushing this in like that. I thought that might probably have to go somewhere, but there you go, it's in. It still makes no mention to the fact where this goes. I will double check that afterwards, but uh, I'm keeping that safe for now. So in the final stage for this pack, stage 31, which I've got here, again, flick through the magazine quickly, we're going to be doing the oil pump and connector pipe. So three little bit details for here. Putting these together and on the engine, and I believe that's all we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're going to do is going to take two parts of the oil pump. Again, we have got some little push fit lugs to go in to assemble this together. Pushing this at the lug end so I don't break anything off. So now that looks just like that there. And it's gonna go in these three holes that we can see here just by the uh, gear selector there. Just line it up. One, two, three, and push that home. So the last thing to do is just to put this little bit of exhaust in here. This section here is just gonna go onto this peg, which is the lower peg, and the top here is gonna go into this shaped place here. So I'm gonna line the top up first. That's where that goes. Then line the bottom up and push them together just like that. Checking this still works. Clipped in, and there we go. That's that pipe in place. This still works, as you can hear. Click and click the other way, just like that. That's perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So as I said, all about the engine, this one, and loads of detail on there. Look, check that out, looking really good. I do like the uh, gear changer. Now we understand why they put switches in there with no electrics. Uh, it's just to make the noise. <laughs> so it sounds like you're uh, changing gear. Uh, but that is what that looks like. Excellent. Now, once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get that all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.